We are currently in a transition moment that will change every society on Earth. The revolution of quantum computing is here, and as each day passes, the usages of quantum computing will touch everyone's lives. With quantum computing, we will be moving much faster and solving much more complex problems that both our human minds and current classical systems can't fathom. Despite the technological progress, we still have not solved many problems that have been apparent since the beginning of time, like world hunger. I want to use quantum computing, this revolutionary technology, in order to help solve world hunger. And because of this goal, I've been walking the path of a quantum engineer. My name is Richard Wang, and I'm a junior at Wazirkin High School. Through my project Quantum Mind, I hope to use quantum computing to help solve the devastating issue of world hunger. Quantum Mind is a self-learning open science platform and satellite system that helps increase the crop yields of farmers. With it, I hope to help produce more food for the world in order to help solve global malnourishment and world hunger. Since the beginning of time, humans have always struggled to properly nourish themselves. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization reported that around the world, around 815 million people suffer from malnourishment. The World Health Organization also reported that around the world, around 462 million adults are underweight, while an additional 155 million children are stunted, meaning that their growth has been impaired due to poor nutrition. And finally, around the world, around 45% of deaths in children under the age of five are due to poor nutrition. We can see from these statistics that malnourishment is a serious issue around the world that affects hundreds of millions of people. There is not enough healthy, fresh food for everyone, so in order to solve this issue, we have to increase the production of food globally. On the other hand, quantum computing harnesses quantum mechanics in order to speed up its computing, allowing it to solve problems which would take a classical system hundreds, if not thousands, or even millions of years. Crop optimization requires the input of many parameters and constraints which can increase the complexity of the problem, making it extremely difficult for a classical system to solve effectively. Using quantum computing's quantum speedup, we can both run and solve more complex problems, like how to increase the crop yields of farmers. I believe that from the very beginnings of these new technologies like quantum computing, they should be designed and created to solve the problems of the people. By applying quantum computing to agriculture, we can work together in order to help solve the looming issue of world hunger. In my journey to create Quantum Mind, I have studied Cornell University and Fermilab's course on quantum computing for high schoolers, and been accepted to the first full-length quantum computing course in the world for high schoolers, a program run by Qubit by Qubit, sponsored by IBM, and taught by MIT scientists. Currently, I'm self-learning the quantum approximate optimization algorithm from IBM's Cascade textbook because it is an optimization algorithm that could be used to help increase the crop yields of farmers. I have also communicated with one of the creators of the Wolfos crop model, Dr. Alla DeWitt. And finally, I'm working with Dr. Kwong Nguyen of Boltsa AI, one of the first groups in the world using quantum computing to help increase the crop yields of farmers. Recently, Boltz.ai has just published a use case onto their website. Using D-Wave's quantum hybrid solvers, solvers with both classical and quantum aspects, they have used historical yield maps and water and fertilizer consumption models in order to output total optimal total yields, forecast the prescription of water, and also forecast the prescription of fertilizer, allowing them to increase overall crop production. In their work, they compared their quantum hybrid solver to the best classical optimizer, Garobi. In both categories of runtime and performance of optimal solution, while Garobi produces better results 
when the problem is less complex? As the complexity of the problem increases, the quantum hybrid solver becomes better in both runtime and performance of optimal solution. They also have a roadmap in which they outline how they plan on applying quantum computing to agriculture within the coming years. Within the next five years, Bolsa AI plans on using quantum annealers in order to solve problems that will improve management of wild fisheries, improve productivity and environmental performance of aquaculture, reforest agricultural lands with little uh, intensification potential, link productivity gains to protection of natural ecosystems, plant existing croplands more frequently, improve soil and water management, improve livestock and pasture productivity, reduce food loss and waste, conserve and restore peatlands, and finally, limit the inevitable expansion of cropland to lands with low environmental opportunity costs. And finally, beyond 10 years, when full-scale quantum computers are available, Dr. Wen and Boltsta AI plan on using these full-scale quantum computers that are around 1 million qubits large in order to adapt to climate change, improve crop breeding, achieve replacement level fertility rates, avoid competition from bioenergy for food crops and land, and shift to healthier and more sustainable diets. Like Boltstadt AI, I also wish to create a platform to link together quantum computing and agriculture in order to help increase the crop yields of farmers. And so, I've come up with Quantum Mind. There are two main components to Quantum Mind. Quantum Mind Space and Quantum Mind Earth. Quantum Mind Space is a satellite data collection system that takes in real-time environmental data, like soil content, weather patterns, and plant needs. Quantum Mind will combine the needs of farmers, as well as previous agricultural research done, and use predictive modeling to formulate an optimized farming solution for each farmer. This solution will be relayed to farmers through Quantum Mind Earth's website platform. If the solution is successful, Quantum Mind Earth can store the effective solution in its solution database to be reused for similar problems in the future. If the solution is not successful, then Quantum Mind will be able to modify the solution to correct it. And remember that the ineffective solution should not be used for similar problems in the future. Quantum Mind will regularly update with agricultural research, constantly trying to improve its solution. The solution database and the constant optimization of solutions makes Quantum Mind self adaptive. Quantum Mind will provide the best solution for farmers and optimize their crop yields in order to help feed the world. I also want Quantum Mind to be able to be applied to controlled farming like vertical farming. Vertical farming involves growing crops on tall columns in a controlled environment. Unlike traditional farming, vertical farming has many unique constraints and parameters to consider. These include the amount of shelves you have, the amount of times crops are moved from shelf to shelf, and more. Because of the addition of these unique parameters, the optimization problem of vertical farming is also complex, making it suitable for quantum or quantum hybrid solvers. In the same way that Quantum Mind creates optimized solutions for traditional farming, Quantum Mind will also be able to create optimize solutions for vertical farming, increasing their crop yields as well. With 815 million people around the world living malnourished, it is vital that we help these people by increasing the production of food globally. With Quantum Mind, farmers will have access to knowledge and a design path to take during environmental changes. Farmers will be able to increase their crop yields producing more food for those who need it the most. Quantum mind and quantum computing will be able to make positive agricultural change immediately. 
Quantum computing is here, so it is also important that we are ready to make positive agricultural change now. And we can do this by synchronizing the two disciplines of quantum computing and agriculture into one intelligent system. Yet, from growing your own vegetables in your own garden to donating food to your local food shelter, every bit helps in getting food to those who need it the most. This way, we can make a positive agricultural change, not just in the future, but also now. Thank you.